Monocart continues to do business even though the Oregon Health Authority says it's operating illegally. If that's the case, we want to know why it's being allowed to continue selling weed. Here's Tim Becker. Well, the cart has been open for about three weeks. It is open again for business today, that despite a number of visits from police. So it's medical marijuana you're giving away, though, right? Yes, I'm giving it all away. The cart's owner tells me his business is completely legal because he's only selling empty containers. Um, this container can hold a gram. It can hold two grams, things like that. Containers that he later fills with weed to, in his words, help people learn the importance of organics, a practice that's not amusing to people like Faye Keen. I don't like how it reflects on our community. I just don't think it's appropriate. Her family runs this nearby dispensary. Regulated by the Oregon Health Authority, it sells only state tested and approved weed, and she doesn't like how the pot cart circumvents the rules. So for somebody to just kind of come in and park on a side street and to omit all of that is a slap in the face to everybody else. I, I just don't think it's fair. Do you, I mean, do you have a medical marijuana license? Did they issue it to this mobile cart or how does that work? You don't have to have a license. You're over 21. You could have an ounce in public, right? That's true as of July 1st, but for recreational weed. The Oregon Health Authority says medical users can actually possess up to 24 ounces, but they also tell me they've never dealt with the smoke buddy cart, so it doesn't fall under their watch, that it's a law enforcement issue instead. What are, what are they saying about why they're not stopping you or arresting you? Oh, the cops are great. I mean, the cops, it's legalized. I mean, the cops don't really care. It's legalized. It's marijuana. We went to the police and they tell us possession of more than an ounce in a cart would be a misdemeanor. And if they received a complaint about the cart, officers could respond and take enforcement action. But it's not something they're proactively enforcing. Whether it's legal or not, business is good. And as long as that's the case, they tell me they continue to work this area. In North Portland, Tim Becker, Coin.